The Bureau of Statistics announced today that the unemployment rate is steady at 3.5%, which you might think is weird because you remember that last month it was 3.4%. Well, last month's figure has been revised up. Going to three decimal points, it was 3.448%, which rounds down to 34 now, that's been revised to 3.465. Not much of an increase, but it now rounds up to 3.5. The December figure is 3.508, which rounds down to 3.5. So there you have it. It's all a matter of rounding. And if you're wondering how they can be so precise with a survey, they can't. Little changes like that are pretty meaningless. Big picture, the unemployment rate is still at a 48-year low and job vacancies, which the Reserve Bank really watches, are still at an all-time high as a percentage of the unemployed. There are still nine jobs available for every 10 unemployed people. The Australian dollar went well above 70 US cents last night, but then fell in the early hours because the US dollar rallied. And then it fell again when the unemployment data came out because market betting on a rate hike next month fell below 50%. And that can also be seen in the market interest rates. The three-year bond rate, by which fixed-rate mortgages are set, fell below 3% for the first time in six months. So now it's below the cash rate. Anyway, the dollar is steady at 69 US cents tonight, while sharply lower against other currencies. The share market went up half a percent, with solid gains by miners and banks, even though the US market fell 1.5%. And finally, on commodity markets, iron ore, nickel and zinc went up, while oil went down. And that's finance.